me what's up Think you gon' play me, just know that I'm not one of them Feel like I don't know you, don't come around no invaders them. It's your boy Noto, coming to another video, coming to another podcast, man Today's podcast, we're gonna discuss other men will doubt and hate on the experiences you have as an attractive select man. If you're new here, or you already been here, go ahead and click that like button. Go ahead and comment, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this topic, man. I'm gonna tell you right now, like guys, all the, a lot of other men, guys that gonna doubt every experience that they that you hear you, they hear you have as an a select man. They will doubt every experience that have anything remotely to do with getting women without doing the jumping through the hoops, without spending the money, without doing the most, simply because they haven't experienced it, guys. It's just what this is what really what it is, what it's really what it boils down to. Any man that's gonna doubt another man's experience that hasn't experienced it himself, that's the only way they can really doubt it. Like another guy that's actually getting women can only agree with another guy that has that has these experiences when you tell them any experiences yeah i mean of course a lot of guys be capping but if you go around and you actually see and this is another thing that brings on the hate because they already doubt that you can get the woman and if you say okay i was talking to this chick she was talking to the chick they're like no you weren't talking to the chick i can't get this chick to talk to me so why why would she talk to you that's probably what they be thinking and if they get into the, into the environment and see that the chick is talking to you now they get mad now here, here come the hate here come all this because Usually they got to go and do the most to try to get a woman's attention. And all you got to do is just walk into the room and be around. And they instantly already choosing. They instantly already plotting on you. A lot of guys don't know what that feel like. They don't know what it feel like for a woman to just start plotting on them the moment that they just walk into the room. You ain't got to sit there and play around with them. You ain't got to sit around and uh, hee hee hee, cook a car with them. You got to try to make jokes with them. Got to try to, hey, let me buy you some lunch. Or, or try to bait and switch them. And, you know, try to try to do uh try to nickel and dime them but you ain't really got to do the most because at the end of the day bro if you're considered an attractive man by these women bro all you have to do is walk in the room and a lot of guys hate that they hate on that because they don't experience that they haven't experienced that bro and this will forever be a thing you guys are forever going to have doubters and you, and the doubt is going to turn into the hate when they see it play out into action so when they see that what they're doubting is actually true that brings upon the hate because it's a it's a thing with me every time i'm going into an environment i always end up getting these signs for feet from women bro from women all the, all the time everywhere i'm going like bro it comes from like the corporate on down bro it doesn't matter what walk of life i'm in bro i have an element of attracting women bro it just it just is what it is i don't know if it's just my body i don't know if it's just what it is i don't know if it's the guns they like i don't know like i mean this shirt is fitting me pretty good it's ain't no homo i'm just keeping the book Maybe they like the way stuff fit on me. You know what I mean? It's just wearing stuff that accentuates your frame. A lot of guys can't wear stuff that accentuates their frame, so they jealous of you. Like, why are you wearing something so tight? Why are you wearing the sleeve and something like that? You ain't got no guns to show off. You ain't got nothing to show off. You ain't got nothing to, uh, to accentuate. So my thing is, instead of just hating, just get in the gym, try to do what he, what they do. But it's like I said, and like I was telling to my boy Adil, shout out to my boy Adil, man. Go watch his channel. Like, it's easier to hate. Then to go and put in the work. It's always easier to hate. It's easier to hate than to go lifting weights. It's easier to hate than to eat right. It's easier to hate than to take care of your skin, your body, and and your uh your health over, over overall health. It's easier to hate than to actually learn how to talk to women. It's easier to hate than to actually just engage in activity to actually improve your upon yourself. It's not just about this, okay, the self-improvement, the self-improvement. Self-improvement, okay, yes, it brings upon the confidence, but it takes a certain type of mindset to get into that. So it's easier to hate than to try to improve yourself. And just to say, you're not blessed with the genetic lottery. This is what it is. I have features that a lot of women that are very attracted to. They like my eyebrows. They like my eyes. They like they like my face. They like they like a lot of stuff about me. That's just outside. That's just on my face. They like my, my nose. I had one woman say that she liked my gap. Like I said, when I was telling that story about the Uber driver, if y'all look back in some archives, some of y'all that have been here for a while know about that story. When I was talking to the Uber driver and I pulled the Uber driver. But anyway, uh, man, um, it's just how it is, man. I have a lot of features that women like me. And then on top of that, me being built the way that I'm built, that adds on to it. So a lot of guys might not have those features or whatever, or whatever, like 
It just is what it is. Whatever you got, you work with what you got. But this is what I have. This is what my genetics have given me. So at the end of the day, it's not good to hate on another guy because these guys are listening to this. Your, your power might be over here. Your, your tribe might be over there. The way you pull girls might be different from another way. You pull, it's not no one way to this thing. You're not going to have to have the most gorgeous face in the in the, in the world and nothing in the cosmos or something like that. You ain't got to be able to be a model in order to attract women. You know, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is you, what you can, you can be attracted to women without actually being an extra supermodel type guy. You can have the body, you know, you know, it's a get your body right. That's the, that's the first thing right there. That's the basis. That's the basis. Get your body right. And then like after that, just accentuate upon that. Build upon that. Get, get right with that. Get your style right. You try to keep yourself clean, clean cut. And even if you let it get rough, bro, my thing is too with that. Even when I let things get rough with me, like say for instance, I might just go without a cut for like a couple of weeks, few, three weeks or something like that. Let my stuff just go back and push up. Bro, I, I still don't have any problems with women. That's why I'd be like, when guys be like, bro, you need to cut it up, bro. You need to go to, bro, I'm looking rough, but I'm still getting the same suit and suit and signals, probably not even, if not more. If not more, bro. And then when I finally like clean it up, it's like a whole nother surprise to them. So that's sometimes too. Guys, don't try to stay clean cut all the time. Sometimes, hey, it's just chill and uh be a little be a little rough. You're a man, bro. You ain't gotta be pristine all the time. I'm just saying. Not saying that uh cutting yourself up and keeping keeping yourself up is, is, is a bad thing. But I'm saying there's nothing wrong with being rough, bro. You're a man. When women like to see some ruggedness to a man, because especially like a, a guys like me. I have a lot of feminine looking features. I'm just going to keep it a buck. I know it. I can't keep denying it. Of course, when it comes to my eyes, my eyelashes, my eyebrows and stuff like that, and the way my facial structure is and all that, bro, I have feminine features that, that come out like that. So if I'm somewhere always trying to look pristine, trying to always look like this and brushing my eyebrows or something like that, I don't, I don't have to do all that. By the way, but just saying, if I'm always so prissed up and stuff like that, you know, they can probably get the impression they try to think that somebody's gay or something. I'm not, I'm not saying that, oh, don't. Keep yourself up just because they'll think that you're gay. I'm just saying that, you know, it wouldn't hurt to have a little rugged look to you, especially if you already got some features that, you know, that look appealing to women anyway. So they, it doesn't matter. That's why when I look rough, I can still pull the way that I, I always pull. It never really makes a difference. It's, it's been times where I just like, man, I ain't got no haircut. I'm just going to walk through this stuff. I don't care what it look like. I'm just going to do my thing. And hey, I was still get. I was trying to, I was trying to be incognito that day. I ain't want no attention for nobody or nothing. I had a hoodie on, none of that. It just, all that. I just, hey, it, it still worked. And the thing is, a lot of guys will doubt what I'm saying right now. When I said that right now, I'm like, oh, how you can't get no girl when you when you roughed up, bro? You ain't got no clean cut, nothing like that. And they think a clean cut, and they think a clean cut and just throwing some uh some design on onto a body that ain't built onto a, a, a basis that ain't even made up yet. It's just going to elicit the same results as you get. You can walk into a place rough and they didn't got a clean cut, clean fit and all this other stuff. And you still getting attracted to the same chicks for, for the right reasons opposed to what he's doing, trying to peacock. You see what I mean? I've done that before. Like I said, I used to go in the club playing Jane all the time, bro. Black tee, regular jeans, just a, just a nice pair of shoes. And that's it. That's all I needed. I never needed to do that. That's why I always encourage guys to do that. I'm not saying, that, okay, you can't buy a new designer, but test it, test it out, bro. Test out going plain Jane, bro. If you can pull them plain Jane, bro, everything else is just an add-on, bro. It's an add-on. But test yourself out. Plain Jane it. Make sure it's hugging it and fitting you, but you got to have something for it to hug and fit you, too. But that brings a lot of haters, though. Because the guy's going to hate on the fact that you can do the stuff that they wish they can do, bro. They got to try to throw a whole bunch of designer over a fl flabby ass, titty, titty, uh, titty chest ass body. It just is what it is. And the thing is, I don't have no problem with a guy that's shaped like that, that's trying to do something about it. But the ones that ain't trying to do nothing about it, but sit back and just hate on guys and talk shit all the time. I ain't got no, I ain't got no love. I ain't got no respect for you. I don't give a damn. I don't care. But it just is what it is because I used to be that guy that was hating on guys too. So I know how I feel to be on that end. But at the end of the day, I had to come to my senses and come to my come to my understanding that, bro, I can improve, bro. I can improve. And that's what I did. This is what I've become. And I can still go even further. I'm still pushing things even further. So this is just how it is, man. This is what goes on when you're in this state, bro. When you're able to attract multiple women, bro. People are going to doubt that you can do it until they see it. 
like I say to girls, bro, like it's this dude at work, right? He get mad at me now that every time he see this girl that he was trying to talk to, it was this new girl that came in and started working in the office. He get mad now that I used to put my my bag by my uh by me while I'm sitting at the bench. We had like a little meeting before we go to work, right? So we all got to sit at the benches and stuff like that. And she come out. So I put my bag by my bench because I ain't really want nobody sitting by me. What she would do, she'll come and move the bag and sit right next to me. And the other guy used to come around and he used to get he used to be mean mug and he used to get so mad, bro, when he saw her come and sit next to me, bro. It, bro, it's just stuff like that. Simple like that. I'm going out my way to have nobody near me. And she comes and puts herself in, into your vicinity. See, the thing about this, guys, you don't, you don't, when it comes to this, bro, when, when it comes to the woman and liking you and the choosing sense, bro, it chooses you. Like, we say, like, they think, women think you're being a player and they, they think that we're players and all this other stuff. Like, bro, you don't have to choose that life, bro. You don't, you can't choose that life. That life chooses you, bro. Because you walk in the building and the woman looking at you lusting you, bro, that's choosing you, bro. Like the other day, it's like this other chick that finally started seeing me and I looked at her and she gave me that look of lust and I know what it was. I was like, yeah, I got another one. It's get to the point where you're going to start noticing the looks, bro, that you get, bro. So it just, bro, it's just something that just happens. You don't even have to try to really do it, bro. It just, you just walk into a room and that shit just happens. A lot of guys don't understand that. That's why they doubt that they doubt that they doubt that that can happen, bro. And they hate on it when they see other girl when they see the women actually doing the stuff that you said. Okay, yeah, this is what happened. They 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 checking for this guy. Just because, and there's a lot of it's another thing too. A lot of guys judging other guys. Oh, no, he don't look like this. He don't look like that. What he got on me? But you're not looking at it from. You don't have to. At first, you can't look at it from a woman's perspective. But think about it. What the woman sees is what a man can't see. Is what a woman is attracted to a man. This is what she sees. It's not about what you see. And that's what another thing that baffles guys because they're busy, they're steadily judging that man. See what I'm saying? So that's a whole other thing in and of itself. We talk about it all the time. Me and the underdog talk about that too. But anyway, it's your boy Noto. Come to another video. Come to another podcast, man. If you're enjoying the content, you're gonna click that like button. Go ahead and comment. Go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you can be notified whenever I drop a video. And remember, guys, anybody can improve themselves, they wouldn't have worked at it. I'm out. So many people got so much to say about me. I'm like, hold on, just wait for a second. I don't get radio play, but I'm spitting that gas. I just call it that hot 97. No, I ain't talking about Usher, but something no add up. It's time that y'all made a confession. All of them talk about what they done did in the past, but ain't none of them shit in the present. Maybe they need to go get them some lassiters so they can clean all that bitch out they system. No, they can't be in my circle. These niggas be squares. These niggas are in the prison. Told me to keep my friends close, but my enemies closer. I guess I just know how to pivot. Remember that day I saw all of them walk in my yard, should I got my little pit with a sickle.